The U.S. Army is turning a battlefield icon into a hypersonic strike platform. Imagine the familiar HIMARS launcher, fast, mobile, combat-proven, now upgraded to fire Mach 5 hypersonic missiles. That's right, the Army's next move is to put hypersonic speed into the hands of frontline units. And the system leading this charge is called Blackbeard GL. It's a tactical missile, but it's changing the strategic landscape fast. As part of its fiscal year 2026 defense budget, the U.S. Army has allocated $25 million to advance the Blackbeard ground launch hypersonic missile into the engineering and manufacturing development phase. This is no longer a prototype effort. It's a transition into full-scale development under Project HX-3. The goal is simple but ambitious. Integrate a Mach 5 A-class missile into the HIMARS and MLRS launcher family, giving U.S. forces a rapid precision strike tool for high-threat, time-sensitive targets. Blackbeard GL is being developed by Castellian Corporation, a defense technology startup founded in 2022 with a sharp focus on rapid turnaround, high-speed munitions. Castellian has already secured over $100 million in private investment and roughly $22 million in government contracts. What sets the company apart is its vertically integrated design and manufacturing model. By controlling both development and production, Castellian can iterate faster conduct parallel test campaigns, and fix issues rapidly. A major reason why the Army has chosen it as a core partner for this effort. The missile itself delivers hypersonic performance, traveling at speeds exceeding Mach 5, and is designed to hit targets with terminal seeker guidance, even in degraded environments. That makes it uniquely suited for striking mobile, concealed, or fortified threats. It's not intended to replace the strategic long-range hypersonic weapon, LRHW, which reaches over 2,700 kilometers. Instead, Blackbeard GL offers about 80% of the future capability expected from the upcoming Precision Strike Missile Increment 4, but it does so with far greater affordability and faster delivery timelines. Its compatibility with the existing MF on pod architecture is a game changer. That means it can be fired from current HIMARS and MLRS launchers with minimal modification, no structural overhaul required. For the Army, that translates into faster fielding, easier integration, and more options in combat. Given that HIMARS only carries one MFOM pod per reload, the ability to choose between GMLRS, ATAC MS, PRSM, or Blackbeard GL makes this flexibility critical for mission planning. Oversight for the program falls under the Army's Rapid Capabilities and Critical Technologies Office, which approved the shift to EMD after a formal acquisition decision memorandum and validation of an abbreviated capability development document in May 2025. This prioritization signals institutional backing and a serious intent to deliver hypersonic capabilities on a tactical scale. Not years from now, but within this decade. And the Army's ambitions don't stop with HIMARS. Blackbeard GL has also been identified as a primary munition for the future Common Autonomous Multi-Domain Launcher, or KML. These robotic launcher platforms, based on the M10075 and FMTV chassis, are being developed in both heavy and medium variants. They will feature autonomous resupply, waypoint navigation, and support a range of advanced munitions including PRSM, PAC-3, Tomahawk, and Blackbeard GL. With CAMEL, the Army is laying the groundwork for a hybrid force, where manned and unmanned systems can deliver layered fires with extreme range, speed, and autonomy. The Army's current schedule calls for a proof-of-concept fixed-fin flight test in early 2026, followed by a production representative prototype and a Blackbeard-specific MFOM pod. A live fire ground launch is planned for 2027, with initial operational capability anticipated by 2028. That puts Blackbeard GL ahead of PRSM Increment 4, while still overlapping with LRHW's fielding and KML's future deployment. In the bigger picture, Blackbeard GL represents more than just another missile. It's a strategic shift, a way to bring hypersonic speed to the tactical battlefield, using platforms already in service and trusted in combat. With its Mach 5 performance, adaptable design, and cross-platform compatibility, it's not just filling a gap. It's redefining how the U.S. Army will fight fast, precise, and on its own terms.